Hello guys and welcome back to Madfire on channel. So in this tutorial series we are going to create a simple puzzle game. In this series we are going to check 8 direction swipe control which will be used to move our player level generation from level data then grid system and many more things. The entire project is available on github the link will be in the description and if you want premium version of this project which has extra features in it like add mob unity ads level editor 100 plus ready to go levels then you can go to my patreon page and get the premium project and in this way you will also support this channel so without any further delay Let's get started. Okay, so now we have our swipe controller. So let's start moving our brush. But before that, uh, we will arrange our camera depending on our level. So for that, we will create a new C sharp script and we will call this camera zoom and double click on it to open it in any editor ok so we will first add our namespace which is line paint and we don't need our start and update we can remove them Okay, so first we create a, a variable called mycam. Then in away we set our mycam is equal to get component camera. So this script will be attached to the game object which has a camera component on it. Then we have this public method zoom perspective camera where we pass width and height of, of our level. Then here we have a formula where we are calculating the height basically this height is the distance of our camera from the level so that the entire level can be visible in our camera so here we are using the formula where we multiply 2 width uh, we first check whether our width is greater than our height if it is true then we use width else we use height and we add a small amount here 0.5f to it and then we divide everything by 2 now the reason we divide it by 2 is because our camera is at the center of our level and we multiply it with the matter.tan and this is the angle of our camera so this formula which you can see here i got this from here so if you see in our unity manual we have this the size of frustum where we have this frustum height and this is the formula which i have used okay guys then we check if our height is less than 5.5 so we don't want our camera to be too close to our level so that's why we are uh, keeping a track we are checking if it is less than 5.5 if it is so then we set it to 5.5 and here we are just setting as position so position is 
width minus one divided by two. Then we set the height, and then we set this uh, set position. So z is uh, same. We are not changing it. So once this is done, let's go to our level manager, and we need to call this thing. So we need to have a reference to our uh, camera. So we'll create a serialized field. So we'll call this private camera zoom, and we will give the name game camera. So our game camera will be of perspective type. And once we have created our grid, we need to call our game camera and set it. So game camera dot zoom perspective camera and we pass the width from a height. Okay. So if we go back and in our game camera, let's add the script. So right now we need to adjust the angle as well. So first we will see how it's looking. In our level manager, let's assign our game camera and let's click on play. Okay. So right now it is looking something like this. So before that, let's uh, add some color to our this. Let's change the camera's color. Uh, instead of white, let's make it somewhat yellowish. Okay. Now let's click on play. And so right now our camera is looking in straight. So let's uh, give some angle to it. So you can see our level is somewhat here. So let's move our camera to front. Rotate the x-axis. Something like this. Okay. Maybe we need more rotation. 65. Okay. Set the rotation of x to 65 and z to minus 0 0.72. And x, so and these two are set by our code as itself only. So let's stop this thing arrange them again so rotation will be 65 and z will be minus 0 0.72 now if i click and play we can see our level is seen here so let's try to increase our level width and height and see how it looks so let's say width is equal to 5 and height is equal to 5 so it should arrange the camera in such a way that entire level must be visible and you can see the entire level is visible okay and if you go to our game camera, you can see the height has changed and the X also has changed. Okay, great. Let's go back to 3. three. So now our camera is also getting arranged. Uh, we now need to move our brush. Now to move our brush, uh, we need to know the coordinates of the brush. And we also need to know the coordinates of all our uh, blocks. So that we can know whether our brush can move. Uh, depending on the swipe or not so for that first we will create a new uh, c sharp script and we will call this cell double click to open it okay let's remove the start and update and uh, we add the namespace line paint now the cell will only hold the coordinates basically it's uh, not going to have any logic or anything like that so we'll create a uh, public vector to int so we are using vector to dot int because our coordinates will not be in decimal so just to make sure that we don't uh, add any decimal we are setting it as vector to int and we'll call these quads okay and we will hide it from our inspector because we don't want to edit it from inspector now let's go back to our level manager and here, when we are like uh, initializing our grid, we also need to initialize our cells. So we will create a private cell array. It will be a 2D array. And we will call this cell array. Or instead of cell array, we will call this cells. Okay. Now we need to initialize our cells.
okay so here we set our cells is equal to new cell and we make our cell array 2 of width and height then instead of this uh, game object block prefab we will now will use a cell because our block will have a cell script attached to them and we have to change all this thing now okay so here as you can see uh, we create a new uh, method so create cell which takes three parameters so one is uh, one is x y and one is origin position so as you know we are going to create two grids so one is the grid where we play our game and another grid will be the grid which shows the uh, complete solution of the pattern which we have to create so that's why we need this uh, origin position thing then here we instantiate our cell so we are instantiating our block prefab then we are setting its coordinates uh, depending on this x and y then we set a local scale so the local scale is nothing but vector 3 we set x and z as our cell size and y as our 0 0.25 then we set our transform.position so our transform dot position is similar to what we had before we get the information from our grid by passing the x and y and we just add our origin position to it and then we return the cell now here in create grid now instead of uh, instantiating block uh, itself here so here we are setting our two dimension cells array element which is at x and y and we set it to be something like this okay and then uh, we also make sure our create grid has a vector 3 parameter which is of origin pose and when we create our grid we set uh, our origin pose to vector 3.0 okay so i think this should be creating ourselves so let's go back and right now our prefab don't have any script attached to it so click on block and go to open prefab and let's drag our cell to it so let's go back and click on play okay we are missing something yeah in level manager we are missing our block prefab so just drag and drop it here and click on play now okay so our blocks are created and they have a cell script on it okay that's fine 